Yo, yo, what's going on, you guys? Your boy Devon Terrell in raw form, and welcome to a Help Me Devon production tutorial. And today, in this Help Me Devon production tutorial, I'll be showing you guys how I made this beat alongside my guys, L. Jean and Courtney Taylor, using mainly Splice sounds. Now, being that we're huge fans of Splice, we like to take our Splice sounds and make them our own, and we're gonna show you exactly how we do that. So, first things first, let's play the beat. So this is the finished product that we actually came out with. Dope, so you get the idea. Now, now a, a lot of you may be saying, what is Splice? Well, let me explain. Splice is a digital music platform evolving the way people create, connect, and collaborate with access to sounds, software, and inspiration. It's designed to keep creators in their flow and to make the best production tools affordable, lowering barriers to entry. Splice Sounds is the destination for millions of royalty-free samples, loops, sound effects, and presets. Choose a monthly plan that works for you starting at $7.99 a month. In a mobile app, you can browse, preview, and download one shots and loops on the go where your sounds sync seamlessly across all the mobile, desktop, and web apps. So when you're back at the DAW and ready to create, the sounds that spoke to you are waiting. Splice is partnered directly with hundreds of producers and artists across genres from Scott Storch to Boy Wonder to Nick Romero and many more to make their original sounds available to other creators. Okay, so now that you know what Splice is, I'm gonna show you how we created this dope beat that we made. Uh, right here. So first thing we did was we started off with the sound. Uh, we clicked through a bunch of kits. Uh, we landed on one in uh, Saucy Guitars version two. We love that pack. And we basically found this really sick guitar. I'm gonna play it for you right quick. So this is the guitar that we started everything off with. Listen close. Cool, so that's our guitar that we started off with. We threw a little bit of a stereo widening plugin on it and we uh, also put a little bit of a reverb on it. Uh, how did we make it different or how are we going to make that sound different? Well, what we like to do is we like to layer things. Uh, and the reason why I like to layer things is because when you layer things, you really don't disrupt the original sound, but it gives you so much freedom to actually create a different sound that you mix and blend in. So this is the other sound that we blended in with it. Listen close. Cool, so that's the same guitar sound, only we just altered it, and this is what we're gonna use to blend in with the other guitar. So it sounds like this all together. So how did we create that guitar layer that I just explained to you guys? So what we did was, uh, we literally went and grabbed something called for starters, the LFO tool. Now, the LFO tool, granted, is actually a rent-to-own plugin in Splice as well that you can get right now and rent it until you own it. It's pretty incredible. So this is what it sounds like with the LFO tool by itself. So I'll solo this, listen closely. So you see what the LFO2 does. It really makes it pulse. It's really dope for EDM producers as well, but you can use this in hip hop and R&B, get creative as I always say. Okay, next thing we're gonna move on over to as far as how we created that sound is Portal. And Portal is an output plugin, but once again, that's also a rent to own plugin in Splice as well. You can cop, you can rent it until you own it. Amazing, once again. And I'll show you what we did. So bypass uh, and then uh, I'll play it with out and with and keep bouncing it back and forth. Listen close. C, 
sig plugin it made it move it, it just did something different and this is why we do this because we find it so important uh for people to change your sounds now uh we used a preset called pitch jumper for this and we fell in love with it and we blended the two together so now that we got our guitar sound uh let's move on over to uh some drums let's get a kick and a snare going Super simple drum kits, but these things hit and they slap in the right place. Really, really sick. Now, uh, also, what we wind up doing was we said, how can we make this sound different? How can we make that stand out? So what we did was we added a, another snare layer. And this is what this snare layer is. I'm gonna play it for you right quick by itself. Listen closely. Strange, I know. And this is what it sounds like all together. Gotcha. Pretty sick. It just added a different feeling. And I know probably no one's gonna have that clap or that snare like I have it because we just tried something different. We do it in layers. We like to create different sounds from the sounds we have originally and create layers from them. So basically all I did was, similar to the other stuff is, I went over here and downloaded or used a plugin called Movement, which is another rent to own plugin in Splice that you can rent until you own it, amazing. And we used a preset, preset called Trippy Soka. And this is basically what it came up with. Just made it a really trippy, trippy clap that I never even thought of I would even create, but it wound up sounding really dope and we wound up using it. So that's where that went. So the next thing we go over to is a very strange sound that you may not have even realized was in the beat, but watch this. So this is a beatbox sound that we got from uh, Cashmere Volume 2 Sick Kit, uh, it's also on Splice. I'm gonna play you this, listen close. Super sick beatbox sound. We put it in because we wanted to give it the, the song a little bit more rhythm and a little bit more bounce and space and groove. So I'll play the song, that part for you by itself so you can hear what this beatbox sound is. So all we did with it was we added something called a M rhythmizer. Now for other people, if you're using gross beat or if you're using halftime, halftime is also at Splice. This is exactly kind of the same thing. But being that I'm in Pro Tools, this is what's available uh, as far as that same kind of plugin style. So all I did was take the Emrin Rhythmizer and basically I wanted to change the rhythm of it just a little bit because I know that that's probably being used by someone else. So we wanted to make it sound different. So I'm gonna do it without, this is what it sounded like. <laughs> And now this is what it sounds like with this plugin on. So now uh, the next thing we did was, and we're almost there, is the bass line. Uh, and that is the meat and potatoes. We always like to try and do the bass line last because that really is what glues the entire song or the beat together. So what we did was we went all back over to the Saucy Guitar version two from Splice and we wound up grabbing this bass called Famous Bass. Uh, and this is the bass sound that it originally was. Okay, dope, we love that bass sound, but we wanted to add a little bit more to it. We liked the top end of the bass, but we wanted a bass that felt like it uh, was longer and it just, we wanted to extend those notes. So what did we do? So 
dope. Super, super cool sound. Uh, basically, we took the ro- the low end off of that other bass and and added the other bass and um and took off the top end of that so that there was space for both of them to live and exist. So that's how we just created a whole new bass out of that. Once again, making it sound different. Okay, last but most certainly not least, or getting towards the end, we wanted to do something really strange. So I called my brother Gast up in here to give me a vocal that made no sense. On the star, on the star. On the star. We have no idea what you said, but that's perfect. Okay, great. That's not fine. Okay, so now we have a vocal that made no sense. We have no idea what he said. He just fired off the first thing in his brain and I said, keep saying that. This is what we turned it into with Vocal Send 2, which is also a renter own plugin at Splice. Really, really sick. This is what we turned that vocal into. Listen close. On Really, really strange, but it worked so well in the beat. I'm gonna show you right now. Check this out. Super sick, man. And that's basically how we just took it and made it an entirely different thing. Now for a bonus, we wanted to add a little bit of a cool intro. So we used Isotope Vinyl, which is another rent to own uh, sound in Splice, just to give us a, a little bit of a like 1930s kind of uh, uh, radio, old school radio sound. And I brought my guy, Alex from Need to Know Podcast in just to give me a few words on top of it, just to add to it, really, really strange. And then the last thing I did was I scattered off some vocals that I said absolutely nothing, but I just scattered a melody. And that's what I like to do with a lot of my productions. Uh, if a lot of you guys are singer, songwriters and producers, this is an amazing idea to do. So check this out. Play it from the very beginning. This is the whole thing. Remember, I am saying absolutely nothing. Don't judge me, okay? I just said whatever came to my mind. Listen close. Yeah, I got a poem for you, man. <laughs> it's for all the women that thought they knew about men, right? Let me ask you a question. If men don't know nothing, right? Why you mad at us? I thought you were supposed to teach me, but listen, listen, listen. <laughs> we not here for that, all right? I'm trying to settle this. You don't wanna get that on the kid. Yeah. Something on my candy money kid. Hold up. Just too many counts to chase. Yeah. So the money kind of money stays. I guess I put the money came to the base. Well, so the money candy money kid. Hold up. So the money candy in the kid. When you got a gun, then it's on it like this. And I say, Okay guys, and that's how we produce this entire thing with majority splice sounds. Amazing, amazing, um, just taking something from just a bass and changing it and making your, your own. And that's what we feel is most important is taking sounds from Splice and making them your own. It's very, very important to do that. So I hope this was helpful. If you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, you can email me at helpmedevon at gmail.com. Uh, you can also check us out at helpmedevon.info for our templates uh, on our vocals. Uh, we got templates for Pro Tools, uh, Logic, uh, Ableton and FL Studios. And uh, once again, I appreciate you guys and keep making great music. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, let us know. Follow us on at IG at Help Me Devon. Until next time. Guys.